If you thought losing the headphone jack was a dumb move by Apple, wait till you get a load of this. As yes, Apple might be ready to make their next courageous move after all, and we're not liking it. It seems Samsung wants to really differentiate the Galaxy Note from the S line this year, finally, and the OnePlus TWS earbuds uh, might be announced sooner than we thought, I guess? I'm Jaime Rivera, and listen, Apple, if you guys really want to make a power move that'll make consumers happy, it's not about removing things, it's about dropping price tags. This is Pocket Now Daily, sponsored by MediaTek. Stick around to learn why you should pick MediaTek for your next purchase. The official news today begin with deals, and we're actually, yes, going to start it off with Apple because they're definitely enough that I actually want to jump on a few. Let me give you an example. Right now we've got the latest 16 inch MacBook Pro $300 off on Amazon. That leaves the 2.3 gigahertz Intel Core i9, 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of storage for 2,500 bucks. That's the variant I want. Then we've got the Apple Watch Series 3 for $30 off, leaving the GPS only 38 millimeter variant for $169 shipped. And then the Hisense H8 Quantum Series 4K TV is also $50 off, leaving at 350 bucks shipped. That's actually a steal. I actually have one for review ready when I get back to New York. And finally, the Razer Viper ultralight wired mouse that my son loves more than he loves me is currently $30 off, leaving it at $50 shipped. We've got more links in the description. And yeah, that, that last quote was actually sad but true. Now, how about if we talk about the future of mobile technology to a certain degree? We know that the Qualcomm Snapdragon has been powering it for a bit. And well, now we hear that uh, the future of the 875 is actually gonna be quite compelling. We've got some new leaks of what to expect for this new Snapdragon. And uh, well, according to the tipster, the 875 will be capable of 100 watt fast charging. I wanna repeat that, 100 watts. This will be advertised as a feature for gaming phones, allowing for a shorter downtime between gaming sessions. We're expecting this SOC to be produced on a five nanometer architecture and rocking the new Cortex-X1 as its prime core and three Cortex-A77 cores. But before we get to that, we're expecting Qualcomm to announce the 865 Plus. More on that in a future segment. First, let's move the spotlight over to Samsung, as we've been covering so many leaks of the Galaxy Watch Active 3, uh, or Galaxy Watch 3, if that's going to be the name, that I'm just, give me the watch, just please, come on. From certifications to specs to renders. Well, now we have some more of these from Evan Blass, and these look more like the official renders that Samsung would be showing off in different color variants. According to Evan and the renders, we'll be getting black and bronze variants, while the bronze kind of looks like a rose gold tone. There's also been some rumors of a Galaxy Fold Lite, which we were apparently going to get an unpack, but a new leak has claimed that it's been postponed. According to a South Korean publication, the Fold Lite has been delayed until 2021. It'll reportedly cost around 830 30 bucks. It's said to arrive with different components as the Fold, and the outer display will reportedly be smaller than the one on the Galaxy Z Flip? Like, how can you achieve that? Anyways, we hear that this is going to be an LTE-only variant. Stay tuned. Storage apparently will be also 256 gigs, which is pretty much the same that we get now. But anyways, we'll keep you posted. Now, along with the leaks of the OnePlus Nord that we have been covering for the longest time, OnePlus Z, whatever we're gonna call it, uh, we've also been covering leaks from the TWS earbuds from OnePlus. Uh, we've covered a ton of leaks and renders and so many others, but these were mostly sketches. Though today we have a new one from the same source. The design hasn't really changed much. They kind of look like the AirPods on the Pixel Buds case, but these ones seem to have buttons on the sides. The sketch emphasizes on a black color variant with red accents, which we hadn't exactly seen before. And sure, they might have buttons to be able to call on the Google Assistant in addition to other features. Uh, we'll keep you posted. Hopefully they do have it at the same time. And now let's also move back to what to expect for Samsung's Galaxy Unpack this year, which uh, we've been talking about how many products we're getting, but today we get more details as to how these products are actually going to be better. We have some new tweets from Ice Universe about what we should expect for these devices. On the first tweet, he mentions again that Samsung has completely fixed the S20 Ultra's focusing problem, but he also mentions that the Quad HD Plus display at 120 hertz is still not optimistic. Then on a more interesting tweet, he claims that Samsung has eaten up the Snapdragon 865 Plus processor, which again, we have to mention. He claims 
chips that the whole Note 20 series, Galaxy Fold 2, Z Flip 5G, and even the Tab S7 will be using the Snapdragon 865 Plus processor. If you remember last year, the A55 Plus was announced in July 15th. So yes, we will keep you posted. I just, I find it odd that to get the fix for the S20 Ultra, you're gonna need to buy a new phone, apparently. We'll see. And guys, before we get to today's question, in addition to the hottest news, here's a word from today's sponsor, MediaTek. Did you know that its technology powers the popular Sony WF-1000X Mark III's? These were the first true wireless earbuds to feature true active noise cancellation. 24-bit audio signal processing also makes these one of my favorites for sound quality. We have a battery life of up to 24 hours with the carrying case and full integration at a tap with the Google Assistant and even Amazon's Alexa Assistant. You can find them on Amazon in the first link in the description and also follow the second one to learn why brands like Sony trust MediaTek. Thank you for sponsoring this video. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with Apple, its roadmap for its next devices, and uh, some that we like, some that we just, we really don't like. And the biggest problem is, again, this is coming from Quo, I think we're gonna have to trust in what he's saying that's coming. On the positive side, let's start it off with iPads. Back in May, Quo said that Apple would be releasing two new iPads. Now on his latest report, he mentions them once again, a new 10.8 inch iPad for the second half of 2020, followed by an 8.5 inch iPad mini that I really want in the first half of 2021. We don't know if this 10.8 inch iPad will be the successor to the 10.2 iPad or the 10.5. I know it's confusing, but apparently both this one and the iPad mini should bring that new 20 watt charger we've covered over the past couple of weeks. But speaking of the charger, Quo claims that it might not make the iPhone 12's box after all. The report says that Apple will remove the ear pods and the power adapter from the box, leaving only the USB-C to lightning cable. This means that if you want a charger, you're gonna have to pony up 30 extra dollars for the 20 watt adapter, or wait for it, 20 bucks for the five watt that nobody cares about. And uh, my God, okay, I this is not good. Let us know in the comments down below, what do you think? Do you think that it's a good idea for Apple to strip down the accessories in the box? I mean, we even heard that, sure, air power was shown working, and I get it. I mean, Apple wants to push their wireless chargers and whatever, but you can't just force consumers to go out and figure things out. Uh, I, I think that it's a, it's a, it's not a smart move. HTC already tried it 10 years ago and we know where HTC went after that. So I think that it's a terrible idea. What's going on, Apple? Like, seriously? I mean, are you gonna charge 500 bucks for that thing or something? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. I seriously think it is the dumbest move ever. Nothing courageous about it. Friends, again, if you wanna get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles to see me complain about things that just really don't make sense. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.